we're looking at number 17. It says find each trigonometric ratio. We're given our legs, but we're not given our hypotenuse. So to find our last one, we don't even have to use trig. We can use our uh, Pythagorean theorem. We have two legs, so it would be 16 squared plus 30 squared equals c squared. 16 squared is 256 plus 900 equals c squared. You get 1156 equals c squared, square root, square root. We get 34 is equal to c. So that means qr is 34. So from here, we just need to find sine q, cosine of q, tan of q, and so on and so forth. So looking at sine of q, we put our pen on q. That means the opposite's 30 over our hypotenuse of 34. Right here, I notice that they both share. Um, th you can uh, simplify it. So they're both even, so I can simplify it to 15 over 34 to be 17, right? Yeah. So 15 over 17. So our sine of q would be 15 over 17. Now, let's take a look at our, co our cosine of Q. So Q would be 16 over, because our adjacent side, over 34. Okay, so what we have here is we can simplify by, by dividing by 2 again. We get 8 over 17. Can't simplify any further, so our cosine of Q is 8 over 17. Lastly, our tan of Q. It's opposite over adjacent, so it would be 30 over 16. You can simplify this again. By 2, it would give us 15 over 8. All right, so the sine of r. The sine of r is going to be 16 over 34, which would simplify to 8 over 17. And why don't you look at that? We have sine of r is the same as cosine of q. So let me take a guess that the cosine of r is going to be the same as sine of q. Let's just see that. So the cosine of r would be 30 over thir uh, 34. Look at that. These are the same exact same. Who would have thought? So we have 15 over 17 would be that. And then the tan of r, or tan of r would be opposite 16 over 30. 16 over 30 would simplify to 8 over 15. All right, and that's for all for number 17.